community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out the day by looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, E-mini. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index itself will not show the same pattern because the exact 61% retracement came in at around 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we had already hit the 61% retracement in the E-mini S&P, which came in at... Uh, 41.53. The high was 41.63. Uh, we're a little bit lower than that right now. The Russell uh, couldn't even make a 382 retracement, and the uh, the, the uh, Nasdaq was also having a great deal of trouble, just barely getting above the 382 retracement, and then backing off. Whether this is a serious correction or not, we don't know. But we did know that it did hit that exact number. As you can see by looking at this chart, you can see the beautiful ABCD structure on the way up. That's a three-day rally. And then you see the four-day rally on the downside going right down to your, again, right at your D point and then the rally back up. So we could back off a little bit and then move higher. We don't know what's going to happen next, but we do know. But putting a trade on anywhere near that level tells us that that's what your risk is. And as long as that risk is in force, you have a pretty good chance of seeing whether the trade is going to win or not. That's basically it. Now, I think we should spend some time here with one particular market segment that really needs some uh, important uh, characteristics to look at it. Let's start out here, which is the crude oil. Now, we had Mike Moore on last week telling us that we were expecting to see a pretty big break in, the, in uh, that week, and we did. And as we show you the chart here of the crude oil you can see what happened here on thursday we had this it took out the actual low here from march folks believe it or not by about 10 cents uh, there was there must have been a huge buy order there how they orchestrate these things i'm not quite sure but this was legitimate now uh, there was an actual move down it took a total of about four minutes and it, that was uh, two minutes up and two minutes down and boy it was uh, let's try that again it was two minutes down and two minutes up and then we had the rally up now one of the things that we do when we do trading uh, for our intraday and also when we do the trading program that we have here a couple times each year we try to find out where it would be the best place to enter given the fact that that bottom is being made now after four years of experience now watching what Tom Hugar does and uh, proving it to ourselves that it does that the importance of that 382 retracement what we're going to do now is to show you the crude oil last night because this is where we were it wasn't last night it was before we even talked about this on friday show if you'll remember and i just wanted to follow through just to show you what happened now as you see here there was on friday there was the 382 retracement within five pips of the exact 382 retracement of this low. And folks, this is an hourly chart, so this took a long time to get to that point. Now, what's interesting is, after this market made this low right here, you see, what that tells you is, that gives you an ABCD structure where you have A, B, C, D, and it measures here, you'll see right there to that level, which is, 71.53. The high today was 71.63, and from there, it's broken a dollar a barrel. Now, a dollar a barrel is not much to most people, but a dollar a barrel is still a thousand bucks. We mentioned in the video last night that yes, that should be the spot. Now, we also made a smaller 382 off of this low that came in right here. That happened in the middle of the night. 
Look how many hours we stayed there, folks, before it finally broke to the upside. Anyway, that's just one. So in order to prove ourselves some of these things, we're going to take a look now. At the, this was one that we were also talking about last week, uh, right on the, on the 5th. Cinco de Mayo, uh-oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Hit the wrong button for the 78th time, not quite in a row. By the way, I don't know if you – I don't follow basketball too much anymore because I did all during the time that Larry Bird was playing from 1979 through 1992. I never missed a Celtic game on MSN, Massachusetts Sports Network, and uh, – and Larry happens to be friends of the family back in old Terre Haute. He used to eat at my grandmother's restaurant three times or four times a week with his his uh, his uh, his wife Diane and their kids and stuff. And they never paid for a meal because my my cousin uh, who owned the restaurant was such a big fan that you know it was just a real joy to to have him in there. But anyway, I was watching a little bit of the Phoenix Suns game because they had, it was really quite exciting. But there there was a player there, folks, believe it or not. You know, shooting three-point shots in the NBA, you know, something's 25 feet out. This dude has hit – he hit 35 out of 42 three-point shots. I mean, oh, my goodness. That is just uh, – and that's in the, in the heat of the battle. And Phoenix won the game, but I, I ended up watching. Just, just to watch that kid shoot, I, I was just blown away that in the last two games he hit 42 out of 30, uh, 35 out of 42 shots. That's 70, better than 75%. Are you kidding me? I can't even do that trading. Anyway, let's move on here to the second part of this as we look at the uh, heating oil. We did the same thing with the heating oil that we did with the natural with the crude oil and all i do is when i bring these to your attention i give you your choice of where you, which one you want to trade you shouldn't trade both you should either pick one or the other because if you trade both you're doubling your position now if you've got big bucks sure you can do that but if you're a new trader or just you know trying to make a living you know one is enough so look at the you can see a perfect 382 retracement look at your big abcd this is the abcd on the weekly See how it came right down to that spot? And that that we'd been waiting that for a long time. Anyway, you'll see that it pulled back right to the 382. And where did it go again? Exactly to the 1.618 expansion of that move. Because that makes that an A B C D move to the upside. And that's why it's so very, very important. And all you're doing is when you're looking at pieces of it of uh, of a puzzle, you look at your daily chart, your four-hour chart, then you go down to your 30-minute, whichever it's com you're comfortable with, and find out what that structure is. It gives you a pretty good idea. Are you going to win all the time? Heck no, but nobody else is going to win all the time either. You got to remember that. That's a that's a really big thing. Now we've got one other one here, and that is the gasoline, and that that had been the strongest of the whole bunch, and we're going to get that up here right now and then we're going to have a break coming in and then we got some fun things to talk about about gasoline 877-927-6648 Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Jeff from New Jersey on the line. Jeff, are you there? Uh, yes, Larry. How are you? Very good. I posted the chart here uh, in the den so the folks can uh, look at it, but uh, you had a question about okay. the three drive to a top pattern, the fact that yeah. it didn't have I was, perfect um, symmetry. I was studying Chapter 7 of my Bible, uh, also known as Trade <laughs> What You See, and on the three drive pattern, and uh, yeah, I had a couple questions. So there's a, a couple uh, rules or guidelines uh, in there that I wanted to see if I can um, ask you for a maximum value, like a threshold over which you would not take the trade. Sure. So one of them is um, you have the um, the AB leg, <clears throat> excuse me, which is an extension off of the the uh, point one to a uh, first leg, and um, so in the in the book, it says that you don't want the uh, AB leg to be much more than uh, 1.618 of the 1A leg. But That's if you, correct. in order for me to like write a rule for myself, uh, you know, I have to, uh, what like how much longer would be okay, and you know, where would you cut it off? Well, I do it by a dollar amount, Jeff. If it's more than like three, three to five hundred dollars beyond the 1.618. And, you know, then that's really telling you something that's not right. But I do it by dollar amount, not by percentage. And and when you're doing this, Jeff, and I, I've watched your work and you, you've made such great progress this past year that you, you have to realize that what the patterns are doing is they're giving you a setup. Now, lots of times, you know, like we had one in the, in the Dow Jones today that was absolutely perfect. We had the currency one was perfect. The, the, the bean oil was perfect. Uh, uh, the euro was perfect, but this one that you're showing here was very, very unusual because you had everything set up. And what I did was, if you look at the chart that's in the den, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I I drew in from the high to the high and high to the high. And you notice that there was a three drive pattern there. And then it backed off a little bit and made a perfect ABCD. Now, I know you saw that because you, you were describing it to me. And uh, I saw the results of it, which were, you know, quite spectacular. So the thing on your rule, Jeff, is you've got to be – Amos Hostetter had a, a thing about rules. Be flexible in your rules and, and rigid in your execution. In other words, what he was trying to tell you that if you're really close – 
that's okay, but boy, when you're wrong, get out of Dodge. Do, do, you under, do you understand what he was trying to say there? In other words, if you're right there at that point and it's not working, then that's when you say, and that, that point for me is around 300 to $500 and almost everything that I trade when I'm doing a three drive to a top or three drive to a bottom pattern. Is that so? What you would do is you would take a look at if it went against you, uh, that it would not go against you more than three or five hundred, three to five hundred dollars. So That's you're not really looking at that at the extension one point six one eight, like relative to that particular number. Just saying, ah, it's bigger. It's not crazy bigger. I'll give it a try. Yeah, yeah and like I'll set my stop to- such that I don't lose more than five hundred dollars. Yeah, if it goes to like one, if it goes to like one point seven or something like, see the difference between one point six one eight and say one point seven sometimes, is really you know not very much, is it? No. Dollar wise. So see, that's, how much bigger that's, uh, could it get? <laughs> that it goes three to five hundred dollars. That's what I'm looking at. Three to five hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. And, and I, you know, I, I, I've lived by that for a long time. And and the thing, the thing that you got going for you is, uh, even if the trade doesn't work. There's so many opportunities and so many things that we're looking at. Look at the look at the amount of money that that trade made for for the just amount I posted in there just now. It just was it just set up perfectly. Now I, I've seen your rules and and I'm 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 so happy when I saw the fact that it was not a black background. Did you do that for me today, especially? <laughs> uh, actually, I did that for you quite a while ago. Oh, okay. uh, I don't know if you can well, see it on my other platform, but that's uh-huh. actually not a black background anymore. It's a dark charcoal gray yeah charcoal gray well that's better than black that's for sure anyway okay. <laughs> it was a really good trade and the thing that you want to do is to be be you know flexible and also rigid and that flexible and rigid for me is five hundred dollars i don't want to when it, in fact if i have a 1.618 goes beyond it a little bit like a hundred 150 bucks i'm okay if it starts going back above it I'm out of Dodge. I just go on to the next one. You know, my goodness. I mean, we've got, what, five or six trades going on that are all working great. And, uh, you know, they never had any heat. But once in a while, you have one that, uh, you know, is bouncing around and you got to make that decision. So be flexible in your rules and rigid in your execution. Um, let me ask, how would we apply that to this other uh, question about the three drives pattern? Uh, looking at the time symmetry, mm-hmm. Um I don't know if you have that second chart that I sent, but yes, it's a comparison I, between the yeah. time, uh, yes, the uh, time durations, and yeah. um, so, so you you want those time, um, the differences between, uh, let's see, A and B, and then C and D. You want C to compare D. those two time times, yeah, yes, and you, you want them to, to be pretty that, close yes. to each other. But if they're significantly different, then it's kind of ruined the pattern. So at what point? You know, is the time difference too much of a difference? The, to me, this is really simple. On an ABCD pattern, which we call the three drive to a top or three drive to a bottom, Linda Ratsky calls it three little Indians, and uh, Mr. Gartley called it expanding triangles or something like that. If you have to ask yourself whether it's a three drive top or a three drive to a bottom, it ain't it. I mean, you know, you got to look at it and say, oh, look how easy that is. That's a beautiful three drive to a top. It's a beautiful three drive to a bottom. If you have to start squeezing and moving the chart back and forth to get it to fit, no, nope, get out of Dodge, go find something easy. Because the easy ones are the ones that make money. This one was very good. It had beautiful symmetry, except that it went up and made that slightly higher high up at that ABCD right in here. And you were able to catch that. And, and there again, you wouldn't have been stopped out because your stop would have been above here by a few hundred dollars. And so, right. look how much you know. And this is a this is a this is a, a big daddy rabbit, the euro yen forex. So you did exactly the right thing. And you know, there's your profit objective, and it's probably going to go lower than that. But that's that's what it looks like to me as you set it up perfectly. Well, you, you see that little line so on the right. The uh, CD yes. it was actually like just a, a fraction of the. Yes. Uh, a B time. Yeah, you're looking right at it. You're pointing at it. So, yep. I mean, that's much shorter. I looked at that and said, oh, that symmetry's bad. I can't take this trade. Well, the stop and think now. The symmetry is okay, but the trade, when you say you can't take the trade, the, the main thing is, can you afford the risk? See, if you could afford the risk on that trade, you can take that trade. You can, 
you know, you can bet on whether a fly is going to land on a watermelon or a cantaloupe if you know what the risk is. So if you got and you know, and if if it's a slight question, you know, ask how much do you have to risk to see if you're going to be right. And if that risk is acceptable for you, then you can take it because you know we try to get perfect patterns, but you know they're not always going to be perfect. So I you know I've watched your rules, and I think as you go get along in your trading career, you're going to uh, you know massage them better, get down to just a few rules as your confidence gets better. But uh, just be remember it all when you always thinking about when you put it before you click that button, how much do I have to risk? Remember that, okay? Right. Okay, That's thank you, Larry. Hey, it's my pleasure. Great questions. And uh, do me a favor. Call back in at the top of the next hour and we'll go through this again because people that might miss this, I think it's an important concept. Okay? Can we do that? Uh, okay. Okay, great. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, as fortune would have it, I wanted to go over something again. This is the crude oil chart that we were talking about earlier. There was the big drop here on Thursday. There was the rally back on Friday. And then, of course, we had the one in the middle of the night. And our profit, profit objective on this, you see, would have been uh, this level here at uh, 70, 70, 73.53. Yeah, 73.53. Now, believe it or not, folks, sometimes this stuff that we work on really does work. Okay? So all we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at it 
on a little bit closer time frame over the last few days. And I know you, f you find it hard to believe sometimes this stuff works, but here is crude oil up to date from where we were last Thursday, going through Sunday night and what's happening today. And you can see there was your price objective right there. There's your 70, uh, what is that, 70, yeah, 72.53. And uh, look what happened. You come right down exactly to the 3A2 of the previous 3A2 from the previous 3A2. Look at that. One, two, three. 3A2 is where you want to pay attention to, folks, because, boy, that's a really good spot to enter sometimes. Going to be covering a lot when I get the next day trading thing that we're going to be doing because uh, these things are, boy, I'll tell you, I, I look at this and I shake my head. I said, holy cow. I had, I've had people say, this can't be right because it's too easy. Yeah, well, simplicity beats complexity, as my good friend Mark Douglas used to tell me all the time, nothing is better than simplicity. Always very good. We did miss the... Uh, the chart on the uh, natural uh, on the the gasoline. I wanted to bring that up too because it also had the same uh, situation where we had the 382 retracement, and that's uh, there's where we were. You notice we had the first one here that didn't quite make it. Then we made a higher high, then it pulled back. And these are an hourly chart, so this takes quite a while to get this down here. Then we hit it exactly, and then boom, we went up. And of course, we went above the. The 1.618. I'm afraid what's going to happen to gasoline, folks. I mean, gasoline, I use premium gasoline uh, in my 32 Ford. No, it's not a 32 Ford. Anyway, but the I use premium gasoline because it's required, but it's a 500, $5.60 a gallon. I know in California it's a lot more than that, but uh, boy, in my whole life, which has you know, been going on for a long time, I... I can't believe that I paid $90 to fill up the car. I mean, that was really surprising. Now, compare this. When I got married in 1963, uh, we, I had a Porsche uh, 356 uh, Roadster, and we took it uh, from Terre Haute to all the way out to California to Disneyland. And then we came back through El Paso, Texas to visit some relatives. And we went to the dog track in Juarez, Mexico. And before we went into Mexico, uh, I, I filled up the car, and there was a gas war going on, folks. The little the Porsche only had a 15-gallon gas tank, and gas was a dollar five a gallon. And that was for premium. Can you believe that? A dollar five. Holy cow! Where is Tom? The time's going. I've got to share a chart here that I kept up here, that I think is. So we got this from our good friend, uh, Mr. Stan Harley. I want to get this up here to show it to you. And what he did was, uh, he makes a. Uh, comparison between the 20-year time period and this is what he's looking at this goes back uh, 20 years ago and he's showing the highs and lows and how they've matched up and you know that he's looking for a low to come down here sometime in June is what he's looking for now if this low lines up in June like this uh, boy, let's pay real close attention to that because you don't see symmetry like that this basically what it is it's a snapshot of what happened 20 years ago move forward now we know that the markets repeat themselves over and over again correct and we know it with regularity Andrew Lowe has already proven that and also Benoit Mandelbrot has proven that so is HM Gardley so we really want to watch that now for my purposes being a shorter term trader I I don't you know I'm not interested I'm interested in the time zone but until that happens you know, this is not on my watch list, but the fact that it did it so perfectly, well, some of these other things are, are perfect too. Look at the look at the high in the Dow Jones last night. That was worth 300 Dow points. And, you know, whether it's going to work or not, I don't know, but I made a little bit of money on, on the one way, so that's an important thing to pay attention to, correct? Absolutely. Now, back to uh, some other things that we talked about. This was one of the trades that we sent out last night because it was, uh, well, it was long before this happened, but let's get it up here. This is a cross rate between the, the Canadian dollar and also the U.S. dollar. And as you can see here, uh, the Canadian dollar, the, the, excuse me, the U.S. dollar has been weakening really badly to the Canadian dollar. 
Canadian dollar is increasing. See, because the Canadian is the the uh, long is the uh, U.S. dollar. That means that that's going down. The Canadian dollar is going up. So look at the break here. But here's what here's what I said in the newsletter or in the in the video last night. We were setting here on Friday, and we talked about it right there. We were setting at that exact 786 retracement. And I mentioned, I said, look, this does not look very good for the bulls. And let me explain to you why. When you have those big ranges, they tend to increase. So what we're going to do now is to show you what I tried to explain last night in the video. It seemed to work because quite a few people have picked up about a grand off of this. But look at this. Look how it went, it went through the 382 and didn't stop. It went through the 50% level and didn't stop. It went through the 61% retrieve and didn't stop. On the 786, it stopped here for a few hours. It stopped there for a few hours, maybe six hours. And I said, <laughs> if it gets anywhere below that, it's sayonara. And sayonara is already down here. That That's almost, a th it was $1,000 from that high to that low. So far today, it's been $1,000 with, with a very, very small amount of risk. So that that's what we try to do when we're now. If this if you had put put this trade on and it popped above there, 30 pips or so, you're wrong. You move on, and the 786 probably held. But until that time happens, you know you you can't do it. Now this is an hourly chart, and you can see the strength of this. Look at these A B C D patterns right here. The 382 pullback, the 382 pullback, all the way up. Look at A B. C, D, A, B, C, D. Now you come up, you make a double top, you rally back to the 78% level. You see how the 382 held it for quite a while, hit it one, two, three times, and then had a pretty good rally. And what happened when it went back below it? That's your trend, folks, because once your 382 breaks, this is what happened to gold when it broke 80 bucks. You know, once we went below 2040, after hitting 2065, it was sayonara. And, of course, we went down quite a bit, and we're almost at the 382 in the gold market, which comes in at the magical price of 2039. I don't know where it is right now, but it was getting there close just a little while ago. I saw it at 2037. So we keep a mind on that. So we've got uh, the questions that you have, 877-927-6648. I'm going to be doing multiple shows, so I really appreciate any questions coming in. It makes my job a lot easier, boys and girls. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and wait. We have some more. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. 
educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I wanted to review. I did some uh, trades for those folks in Las Vegas there on the 26th of uh, June. Uh, try that again, Larry, April. Uh, this was we had shorted Apple up here. Uh, we had covered it, and then we were saying it'll get up there on the long side. So we picked up some pretty good money there in Apple. We picked up uh, oh, three and a half points on this side, two and a half points on this side. But what happened was the, we had an original order to sell it at 171.11, 171.11, which it hit on Friday, and we were risking, uh, had a $5 stop on that, and so far, that one has worked. We did have one losing trade. We lost uh, $4 in uh, Microsoft. We'd sold it at 06, and, uh, $5. We sold it at 06, and we got stopped out at 11. Uh, three, three, we sold it at 306, got stopped out at 311, and the high was 312. And uh, but anyway, we had a you know a couple other uh, trades that I tried to show the folks you know what we were doing, and it was uh, th this is you'll see that the, this was the Microsoft trade. You'll be able to take a quick look at it here, and uh, just trying to you know show them ABCD because uh, the people in the room they didn't even they'd never heard of ABCD. I can't believe it's been around forever, but nobody pays too much attention to it. So you can see. You know the ABCD level uh, that was uh, up in here. It worked for a while, but then with the report uh, that came out, that was what made it uh, a little bit uh, differently. And uh, so that was it. And then I showed the the pictures of Apple on what it what it was doing at this particular time. Uh, the same thing. Looking daily charts, you can see the the ABCD patterns all the way up and. Uh, it did get as high as 173, but we sold it at 171.11 uh, on Friday, and so it's so far it's uh, working uh, pretty good. To that one, the, the real, the real big one was uh, this one right here, which was the uh, uh, the wheat trade. We uh, and I told the folks it's easy to you know do the ETF, but you can see here you came right down. Uh, right down to the level here, and uh, it took off. It rallied 60 cents off the bottom, folks, which was uh, quite a bit, you know. And uh, hold on, just a second. Hold on, I got to tell something. Oh, hold on, just a minute, there, boys and girls. Okay. Anyway, that's what we that's that's worked out pretty good, and uh, you wouldn't believe the calls that I've got. Oh my gosh, I had seventy two people in the room, and the phone calls. Oh, you guys couldn't even guess the number of phone calls that I got. I mean, it was, I was, I even me, I was even impressed. <laughs> one, that's right, just one. Let's move on here to one other thing that I want to talk to you about, and that is we had another great trade here, but also how it turned around. I wanted to bring this to your attention because when these patterns fail, get out of Dodge. Look at this 1.618 expansion. We have this is June Hogs, perfect three drive, okay? It rallies, it makes, and there was your profit objective right up here. It made for just under five points, which was about $1,600, and then look what happened. 
You see the gap down here at the 61% retracement? When those numbers gap be, beyond those numbers, it's telling you that something really dramatic is changing. Now, we're going to have a really nice big A, B, C, D pattern coming in here, just a little bit lower here in hogs. And one of the things that I'm going to be doing when we come back from the break is I'm going to update the June hog chart and see where we are because we should be getting down into this level right here very, very shortly. And that's where we'll find out whether it's going to be a really good uh, really good trade to be on uh, right now or not. Also, folks, uh, please, I need some white light from my good friend, uh, Steve Shapiro. He's in hospice now, and it's a matter of days or hours. But he's lived a great life for 79 years, and he's been one of my very, very dearest friends. He taught me more about the Jewish faith and uh, he and Michael Weintraub than just about anybody uh, that I knew. So I, uh, he'll be missed, but... He's been loved by everyone for a long period of time, and so we're going to be able to uh, communicate him in a different area. Now, let's move on here and talk a little bit about something that's fun here, and that is the uh, soybean oil. This is the same pattern that we were looking at. These patterns are the same, folks. They're, they're, all you have to do is identify them. Look at the A, B, C, D leg, folks. you got nine days down in the A, B leg. you got eight days down in the CD leg, the AB leg, AB leg is equal to the CD leg. You go down to this level right here and make take out all the stops, and there's your, there's your profit objective. And we got up to here uh, last night, and now it's starting to, at least it was starting to back off uh, a little uh, later uh, in the day to see if that was going to happen. And then I had one other commodity that uh, I wanted to uh, bring to your attention because oh shucks I hit the wrong button do that a lot lately let's get it up here where are you Mr. Corn this is really important folks because this is uh, where the pedal meets the metal we have to get long the corn market pretty soon here I'm watching it daily to keep an eye on it but this is the long term weekly you see we've been down here twice now uh, we match that low that we had right here remember Farmers are used to making about 350 to four dollars on corn. We got corn now at six bucks, so they're making pretty good money. The problem is, if anything happens to that corn crop, anything, we could see like we did several years ago, eight, nine dollar corn, maybe even twelve dollar corn, because remember, folks, oil they can cut back, right? All right. And oil is indigestible. You can't eat it. But food they need. So food can go out of sight. We've seen beans as high as $18. They could go back there again, too. When I traded beans, they were trading from three fifty dollars a bushel to $5 a bushel. And now they're $18 a bushel. You think there's not inflation in the world? Shut the front door and raise the rent. Who are they trying to kid? You know, there's not anything magical about that. Also, people have asked me about the bond market. Is the bond market finished? And I said, no, I don't believe that it is. You know, I could be wrong, but, you know, it's in a corrective phase now after we hit that 61% retracement up there at that 133 level. And it's just a matter of time before you come down and get it. Here's a, here's a copy of uh, what we're watching here. And I'll, I'll bring this up to you. And when we get back from this break, we're going to take a look at that June hog chart just to see where we are. But there's the a little bit lower down in here, and we want to be taking a look at the old uh, Bondolis again. There was your 61% retracement, folks. Look at that. We bought that bottom right there. We sold it right there. I mean, that's a perfect A, B, C, D. And if you did the daily, you took this out by two ticks. And where was this? Ring the bell, Tommy Hugard. It's 382 is where it was. And bada bing, bada boom, A, B, C, D. You're the one for me. Where does it go? To 618, to Fibonacci. I'm a poet and don't know it. I make it rhyme every time. That's about all I know about poetry, boys and girls. We'll be right back after we pay a few bills. I think the time to do that is now. We'll be right back.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted a chart here of the piggies. This is the June hogs that they daily. I blew it up so we could see it. You can see the A, B, C, D measures to this level right here. We're very, very close to it. That's uh, 81.90. The last price over here is 82.35. So we're getting down here. The problem is, is this day here, Friday, we had this big gap down. And that's telling us that, uh-oh, maybe something's wrong here. So the first thing that I do is when I'm looking at a situation like that and seeing that there's danger here, then I would be, if I had time on my side, in other words, the same number of days down in this, you see we're only halfway down. This means this thing could really go a lot lower. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find out what that expansion number is, just like here. You see that expansion number told me that's where that was going to go. So if I do the expansion numbers on this one, this is what you want to be looking at. And I'll get this up here, hopefully, and we'll all be able to see it together. 45, 46, and here it is right now. And I'll bring it up, and you'll be able to take a quick look at it. I hope this helps because I think this is what how I have fun doing this. But anyway, there's where your expansion number is. Your 1.27 number comes in right about where we are now. So buying it there at point D is right at the 1.27 number. Okay, so that will be a good spot. 
Uh, today's sort of late in the day because they're going to close. The uh, piggies close in about an hour, but I'll be watching this tomorrow. The good part is that after the big collapse here on uh, Friday, we have not collapsed. We're down, but we're, we haven't. Uh, you know, there's the. They're not circling the wagon, so you still got a chance. So tomorrow. And the video that I'm going to make tonight for our 24-7 folks, and this is what we're going to be looking at right here. Because right here we can become a hog farmer, and we don't have to risk more than 400 bucks. And that's what we want to do. We'll be right back. Another show coming up, folks. Don't miss. Popcorn's available. 877-927-6648. 